Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from e Get Tech. As you can see on my table, you're right, this is another unboxing video. But this time I'll be doing one of the mid-range phones. So this is in front of me, I've got the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro. So let's get started with the unboxing guys. The box shows a white uh, phone, but the color I got is the green one, or as it says on the box, forest green. Not sure if you can read that. Let's uh, put it in closer. Uh, forest green, and if you notice, this is the six gig of RAM and 128 gig of storage uh, variant. All right, so let's get started with the unboxing. Let's open it up. Quick disclaimer guys, people at the Xiaomi store had to open the box. They said that if um, I didn't open it in the store, then it would invalidate the 7 day replacement uh, warranty. So I didn't want to risk that, so I let them open the phone and do some uh, basic tests. So I'm just opening the box so you have a rough idea of what, what you see when you get the phone. So as usual, you get... Um, the manuals in here and the sim injector tool and yep you seem to have a free case okay this looks like the jelly type it's pretty cool of uh, redmi to include a case especially at this price range so let's uh, set that aside so this is the phone uh, let's see what else is in the box okay let's uh Throw that away and you've got the charging cable over here this is the USB-C the USB-A cable and you've got the 18 watt charger yep this is the 18 watt it comes with the 18 watt charger the Xiaomi guy at the store said it supports 27 watt charging um, I've got one lying around the the one that I'm using for my Black Shark 2 Pro so I'll, I'll give that a try and uh, upload a, a video sometime later guys. So let's put that all aside. Let's get to the phone. So I just uh, stuck the sticker back on. Didn't do a good job. You see a lot, a lot of bubbles on it. But as you can see it does say Redmi Note 8 Pro. And this is one of the few uh, phones, uh, smartphones out in the market now that has a 64 megapixel. If I'm correct, the first one that came out with the 64 megapixel camera was the Realme X. And this is the second one. It has a 6.53 Full HD uh, dot drop display. Probably has to do with the notch. And unfortunately, this is only IPS uh, LCD. It's not AMOLED. And it does have... Um, Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back so that's uh, being uh, one of its uh, selling points and it does come with the Helio MediaTek G90T and with uh, liquid cooling system there are a lot of phones coming out with liquid cooling I guess it all came about from people uh, playing a lot of games on their mobile phones so this in theory should lower your temperature when you're playing any uh graphic intensive games so i'll give that a, i'll give uh, uh, those games a try so i'll be running uh PUBG, mobile legends call of duty and all those uh, graphic intensive games and let you guys know um, whether it heats up i did hear that it does heat up so i'm curious on uh, running my own gaming test and temperature test on this uh, phone I'll, I'll be uploading the, the gaming tests and gaming uh, benchmarks as well in uh, some later videos. Alright, and um, this is one of the largest batteries that Redmi has uh, ever produced. So this is a 4500 uh, capacity battery and as mentioned it supports a 18 watt charging and that uh, charger, the charging brick comes in the box. So let's just remove this again. Okay, and set this side okay let's turn it on 
so if you guys notice i've got the huawei number 5t on the right so i just put it here for a size comparison so the redmi note 8 pro is actually a lot uh, much taller than the nova 5t and um, nova 5t only has a 6.26 inch uh, display while the note 8 pro has a 6.53 display so quick size comparison here yeah you can see the display is a lot bigger on the note 8 pro so let's do uh the usual setup Choose my region. Okay, now I'll be connecting to Wi Fi. Connected and your terms and conditions. Skip. Uh, haptic feedback on this uh, feels pretty good. It's not like some of the other phones I've had before where it was uh, really weak. So let's just wait for uh, the initial setup to complete so we can give uh, the camera and the speakers a test okay setup has complete um can't really see the screen so let's uh, try to change the wallpaper to something lighter i think this will be good Okay, display doesn't look that bad. Uh, been for an IPS LCD display. Let's see how bright it goes. Uh, that's pretty bright, guys. So um, we'll have to test it out in direct sunlight whether it's uh, legible or not. But uh, I'll let you guys know. Okay, let's talk about the um, the cameras now since this is uh, one of the uh, key selling points of this phone. So the back you've actually got uh, four cameras. Not sure if you can see it. And if you notice, the fingerprint uh, sensor is at the back. So it's not an in-screen fingerprint. It's uh, rear-mounted. And it's um, sitting with the camera arrangement. So it doesn't uh, look... It looks like another camera. But on closer inspection, it is a fingerprint sensor. So you've got the main 64 megapixel ultra uh, HD camera in the middle. Uh, you've got your 8 megapixel ultra wide. Your 2 megapixel macro here. And your 2 megapixel depth sensor so um, interested in the super macro so I've, I've had a couple of phones where uh, I had the super macro capability namely the Huawei Mate 20 Pro and the P30 Pro I'm curious and excited to test it out in a couple of um, scenarios and of course I'm excited about the 64 megapixel camera over here so I'm going to be uh, using this phone a lot and taking pictures over the week and I'll um, come back with a review. So I'll use the phone for a week, take a lot of pictures, and then next week I'll be uploading a full review and let you know if this is bang for your buck. You've got your SIM, um, SIM tray at the left side. So this is um, it's a hybrid. So you can choose to have two uh, SIM cards installed or one SIM and one micro SD. And good news guys, this still has the headphone jack. You can see over here and it has a USB type C connector at the bottom and you've got the speaker here um, no dual speaker in this one all right as usual guys let's test out the speakers in this all right so one of the disadvantages of having a bottom firing speaker is once you cover it you basically uh, muffle the sound Speaker quality is not bad. It does get pretty loud, guys. Um, enough to fill a small room. We'll, test, we'll be testing out um, and watching some online videos and as well as gaming and see how the, the speaker holds up. Okay quick camera test here guys oh get the macro mode okay so let's see how we can get to that macro mode let's see nope there's the macro so it's that um flower i think over there so let's take a quick picture of mr unicorn over here
Alright, not bad guys. Uh, let's test out the 64 megapixel camera now. And in less than ideal lighting condition, I don't think the 64 megapixel uh, takes very good photos. Uh, let's take a normal picture now. And move the macro. Yeah, much clearer guys. So normal photo, 64 megapixel photo. You be the judge. I'll be taking a lot more pictures um, during the week and be sure to post back guys. Stay tuned to the channel and I guess that's it for now. Really excited to use the phone. Pricing for this is displayed on the screen. So you've got for the six, um, so you've got basically got two variants for this one. Uh, one is the six and 64 gig and I got the six and 128 gig. Uh, not much of a price difference between the two so if you have the extra cash uh, might as well go for the 128 since that um, extra storage will go a long way you don't have to uh, install a micro SD card to get that storage since 128 is a lot so I guess we'll end things here guys as usual like and subscribe hit that bell icon notification and see you all in my next one